Hey, everybody. Legal Vice is here welcoming you to another episode of Last of Us spoiler-filled, unprofessional, unedited, one-take review. Today, we are looking at episode seven. There's only three episodes left, seven, eight, and nine, and we're done. Things are starting to ramp up. Now some cool action is going to be happening. If, you're, if you've played the game and you've followed along with these episodes, you're going to know that there's some cool stuff coming down. And uh, it should start to take off with today. But let's see how it goes. Right now, we're bringing you season one, episode seven of Last of Us, our spoiler-filled, unprofessional, unedited, one-take review. Let's get going. This episode is called Left Behind, or as I like to, to call it, the meeting the F-bomb quotient episode. <laughs> You'll see why. All right, we go straight into the Game of Thrones for viruses opening. I guess we're done with the uh, with the pre-opening opening titles flashbacks. I think we're done with that. Just starts right with the uh, regular old Game of Thrones virus opening. Now, it opens in a snowy, empty neighborhood. There's empty houses. There's you know, some broken windows everywhere. And then uh, they, they, they zoom in on a sheltered house, kind of at the end of a cul-de-sac kind of thing. And uh, that's where Ellie and Joel are. They're in the basement of this house. Ellie is trying to staunch the blood from Joel bleeding. He's got a he's got where the where the baseball bat was broken into the baseball bat was jammed into his gut. Uh, so she, she's like pressing on trying to stop the bleeding. Ellie drops the first F-bomb of the evening. Uh, and all the other characters don't matter. We just count Ellie's F-bombs. And there's quite a few to count here. So Ellie drops the first F-bomb. And you, Joel says, ah, leave me. <coughs> Go find Tommy. <coughs> Go north. And Ellie gets pissed. And she runs up the stairs. Then we flash back to one of the coolest parts of the game. I, 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 I like this part of the game. Uh, so Ellie, she's... In her, in her, uh, you know, her, she was, she was like a bad kid. So she was kind of in a little training thing, like an orphanage, or I guess you'll call it. So it, like a, a military camp orphanage in the, in the quarantine zone. So it flashes back to her jogging in her school. She's, she's got a Walkman on and some bully girl comes up to her and grabs her headphones and uh, she's like, hey, you know, you come on, you're going to fight. She's like, yeah, this big bully girl says, uh, you know, you, what, where's your friend? She's the one who fights for you. You don't fight. And so Ellie punches her in the face and she ends up in the warden's office and, you know, Ellie's got a big black eye and the warden tells her that the other chick got 15 stitches. And the warden tries to talk her into becoming one of the officers in the quarantine zone rather than uh, one of just the regulars. And, you know, Ellie, does, Ellie's not down for that. She doesn't want to do that. She doesn't want to be, she just wants to be her obstreperous youth that she is. Uh, but eventually she decides to become a leader. He gives her the choice. Do you want to be the riffraff or do you want to be the person that tells the riffraff what to do? And she opts to become a leader. So she, she goes back to her room and she's sleeping peacefully and somebody breaks into her room. Is it the girl that's going to kick her ass for putting stitches in her head? No, it turns out it's Riley, Ellie's girl interest from the game. Now, Riley, Riley's cool. Riley ran away. And now Riley's in the room and she surprises, she surprises Ellie. Ellie gets ready to stab her with a knife, realizes who it is. And then she drops two F-bombs in succession. So Ellie drops F-bomb number two and F-bomb number three. And Riley says that she's joined the Fireflies. So Ellie drops F-bomb number four. <laughs> uh, you know, and Riley says that, you know, that, uh, You've got to come out with me. i got to show you something. Come on out and have the best time of your life. So in the game, they went to a mall and they hung out for a while and did things. So let's see where this, let's see how closely they follow the episode. In this episode, see how closely they follow the game. So they get out of the building. Ellie drops another F-bomb and then two more F-bombs for some reason. So the F-bombs are piling up. They're walking upstairs into a building. Uh, Ellie drops another F-bomb. They find a bottle of whiskey. They take the whiskey up to the roof and they're talking. They're they're drinking a little bit, pretending it doesn't burn, and they're like, oh, smooth. <laughs> um, apparently, they're not going to the mall or the amusement park. They're just hanging out on the roof, having a little chat. Ellie drops another f bomb, and they they she says, no, we're not done yet. Come follow me. They run across the rooftops. They're like you doing a little jumping between the buildings, and they're running across the rooftops, and they actually end up at the mall. Yay! The mall's across the street from the building they're in, and uh, Ellie drops another f bomb. <laughs> They they get into the they get into the mall and Riley turns on the mall lights. It's all beautiful. All the lights are shining. So Ellie drops another f bomb, and it turns out they did that uh, she wants to show her four. Uh, Riley wants to show Ellie four wonders of the mall, 
And uh, she's, Ellie sees the escalator. Ooh, a moving stairs. She's like, oh my God, this is the first wonder of them all. Moving stairs. And Riley says, okay, well, now there's five wonders of them all. They, so the escalator wasn't one of the marvels. So they, they take the escalator down. They play on the escalator for a bit. And Ellie looks longingly into a Victoria's Secret store. Now, Riley tells Ellie to close her eyes. And then she takes her by the hand. And they walk hand in hand down the mall towards, I, you know, I guess, the center part of the mall. And... There's a big, uh, you know, merry-go-round with horses on it, and uh, they ride that. And while they're doing that, Riley tries to talk Ellie into being a firefly. Ellie drops another f bomb. That was the first wonder of the horse. So then it's time to go to the second wonder of them all, the photo booth. Ellie sees the photo booth, and what does she do? She drops another f bomb. So they, they go in, they they do their pictures, and then she takes him to the next wonder of them all, which is the arcade. And that was the cool part of the game because bad things start happening in the arcade in the game. So there's some suspense building up. If you played the game, you know what's going to happen, but it's still suspenseful. There's, they're still putting some, they're having too much fun. And if you're ever having too much fun in a zombie apocalypse, you know something's going to interrupt it. So they're playing video games and they're playing some really, really cool video games. Uh, it was a lot, a lot of good flag flashbacks to my kid. You know, Daytona, USA, the, the racing game. And uh, then they spent a lot of time playing Raiden. I loved playing Raiden in the arcade when I was a kid. So that was great. Uh, but then, oops, here comes the bad stuff. The bad stuff starts happening. What's the bad stuff? Ooh. While they're playing the games, it cuts over to another part of the mall where there's like this infected stuck to the wall. And then he goes, Bleh! and so the, the infected in the mall is starting to look for some new flesh that they that the virus can feed off of, I guess. And there's a little bit of sexual tension building up between Ellie and Riley, like it did in the game. And Ellie, but Ellie feels weird and she wants to go back. Riley says, But I have a gift. Oh, and what girl can resist a gift? So they go, they, they, she follows Riley to the place where Riley had been hiding. Or she said she'd been hiding and living there for a bit. And Riley shows her the pun book that we had her reading from a couple of episodes ago. But while they're talking, Ellie looks over and finds Riley's stash of bombs. Uh, they have a big argument about the bombs and killing, you know, fire fireflies killing the, uh, the Fedra agents. And they have Ellie just leaves. Cause she's, she, she's, you know, she's hurt, but then Riley goes after her and Ellie drops another F bomb. So Riley says, look, I'm going They're They're assigning me to Atlanta. I'm going to Atlanta and I'm leaving tomorrow. I wanted, I wanted you to join Ellie, but Marlene, who's the leader of the Firefly, she said no. And Ellie drops another F bomb. <laughs> <clears throat> Riley just said, I wanted to see you before I go. And I just wanted to say goodbye. Ellie says, well, you said it. And so Ellie starts to walk away. She gets to the exit of the mall. And then she, she goes, all right. So she starts to turn back. She turns back to go back to Riley. And then she hears Riley screaming. So she's like, oh, my God, Riley. She starts running towards Riley. And she she runs into store, but it turns out it wasn't Riley. It was a uh, a, a little zombie from, from a Halloween store exhibit. And she she's, like, shocked. But Riley's also there sitting next to the next to this uh, Halloween prop. And you know, she gets sad and she says, well, this, this was this was the last wonder I wanted to show you, but I guess it sucked. So you know, here. Then she gives Riley the book of puns to take, and Riley puts it in her. I mean, Riley gives Ellie the book of puns to take, and Ellie puts it in her bag. And I just noticed that at this point that uh right Ellie was wearing uh purple Chuck Taylors, and I have a pair of purple Chuck Taylors, so that was kind of cool. Uh, then they start putting on the costumes and the Halloween costumes and dancing around and Ellie begs Riley not to go. And Riley says, okay. And then Ellie gives her a kiss and then they get all awkward. Uh, but they don't have time to get too awkward because now the bad stuff has arrived as it did in the game. The infected comes, the chase is on Ellie's getting chased around and she, she stabs the, the infected a lot. And then, uh, you know, Ellie drops an F bomb and, the infected attacks Riley and then Riley stabs the infected in the head and kills it. Phew. It's over. And then Ellie looks down and sees her arm and Ellie has been bit. So that's where the bite came from the bite where she found out she was immune. 
it was from right there. She got bit by the infected in the in the mall. And so she thinks she's going to die. He's like, oh, my God, you know, I got bit because she doesn't know she's immune at that point. And so she freaks out. But then Riley shows that she got bit on the hand, too. And then much sadness ensues. It cuts back to Joel and, and Ellie. Ellie, she's scrambling around the house trying to find something to help Joel. And then it cuts back to Ellie and Riley. They're being sad. And then it goes back to Ellie looking to help Joel. And she finds a needle and thread. Then she goes down into the basement and she starts stitching up Joel. And I hate how shows never deal with things like perforated bowels or other internal injuries. They just stitch them up and that's all. They're all better. Um, and that's where the episode ends with the, with the little stitching episode. And that brings an end to Last of Us. Season one, episode seven's spoiler filled, unprofessional, unedited, one take review, two episodes left. Come back for episodes eight and nine because the, the tension's ramping up and we know what happens next if you've played the game and you don't want to miss it. Here we go. We'll see you on the flip side for episode eight of a spoiler filled, unprofessional, unedited, one take review of Last of Us. Until then, Legal Vices, Law Racks, saying check you later. Bye now.